It's been two weeks in this prison that I've once called home. Time has become meaningless. I hope that things will ever come back to normal is slowly waning. The only things keeping me sane are counting the days and the funny podcast boys on Please Stop Talking. God, I love those funny boys. Maybe I should give them some money. (laughs) Heh, it's not like I'll need it. After the collapse, maybe getting access to that patron-only Minecraft server, that could be my way of communicating with my loved ones and friends. Pledging 25 US dollars and hearing David's sweet, sweet twink voice say my name over the credits. Maybe that could appease my need for a lover. And I could name an NPC in their D&D campaign after my dog, Methamphetamine. Woof. Good dog. I should log on to patreon.com slash Music and do that before I shoot my dog out of boredom. (laughs) Shit. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome back. That's that's the clapping but bottles. Really? Sorry, I stopped talking because I was about to sneeze. I'm sorry. Wait, are we really going with that? (laughs) Wait, are we recording? Is the episode starting? I don't know. I thought we all said we were recording. I mean, I'm recording. I'm saying, are we? Is this the episode? I blew it to the bottle, and I said, "Welcome (laughs) to the podcast." I that didn't register as you doing the intro. Yeah, that that sounded more like you going. (laughs) I can't. (laughs) Okay, Okay. sounded like you struggling to breathe and then (laughs) saying, "Welcome to the podcast." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it sounded like me turning on my catheter. Give me a second. (laughs) Turning on your catheter? <laughs> what? Isn't that that thing for your lungs that helps? You yeah, here? yeah, the CPAP machine <laughs> That's for your piss. The one. Doesn't the C stand for catheter? No, uh, I guess we are starting with this. <laughs> and, and do you know, do you want to know what a catheter is? It's either okay. I, I might be mistaken. It might either be artificial lungs or artificial anus. <laughs> no, it's neither. Oh, it's neither. Which? Catheter is the tube that goes up your pee. Oh, it's my pee pee tube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's medical sounding. Well, I definitely can't blow into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or turn it on, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> yeah, let me. I've got a catheter got with a generator. Rev- I gotta pull the cord and rev it. <laughs> gotta rev up Shit, the dude, I can't get hard. Bag. Let me power cycle my catheter. <laughs> I gotta go to Dollar General and get double A batteries for Poppy's catheter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that thing takes D's. <laughs> I guess I guess we are starting with this. Holy Hang shit. on, my mic is too loud. I gotta drop it to fifty percent. <laughs> there it is. I can Fuck tell when you. my mic is loud when I laugh and it hits the ceiling. Okay, okay, uh, hang on. I'm re- I'm revving it up again. Give me a second. Are you? Fu- are you? F- no. Ed, that was the, that intro. Was the intro. We're not cutting Welcome the part the where you say turn on the catheter. <laughs> I know. But I'm just, We're not cutting that. I'm doing it again for realsies. We are. We are doing it for real. I know we're doing it for. I know the podcast meat of it is for realsies, but I'm reading because the intro was weak. I do agree. Those were some weak revs. But the, <laughs> what the fuck but, ever, bro? And we can't cut you doing the intro because I'm the not cu- we're not opening- cutting it. I'm not saying. Oh let's my cut god! It. Why did you do it again then? <laughs> because I was doing bother? it for real. I, I I was. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> I fucking hate this episode already. Hey, Ed, remember that one time we got kicked out of a bar at PAX and we forgot to say it on the last episode of the podcast? I do remember that, but while I'm at it, I might as well rev this up again because now I feel like the spotlight's on me. Give me a second. I'm not going to let it go. I, I swear there's like a perfect angle for this. I'm just not finding it. Ed, I swear to God, I'm going to beat this shit out of you, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> What if what I get f- decals on my catheter, like just flames on it? It's <laughs> racing catheter. Dude, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna catheter what's it? so the fast. Because I'm confused. What's it for? Why am I getting a Are you gonna be a wiener? professional cath racer? <laughs> you can't Are control. You? It's for when you can't control when you're peeing. But how does a tube it's, help? Because it goes because into your bladder. Because it just goes out on its own into the tube and into the fucking catheter bag. <laughs> oh, there's a bag involved? Yeah. What did you <laughs> think it was for? <laughs> It's a goo tube. I thought it was like for jazzling, but for wiener. No, you just put a tube in it. It's, it's fucking medical. Put a tube in your dick. Oh, I need a prescription. That's not. <laughs> I don't think you 
need a prescription. I, I think you just need to you need a have a prescription for my catheter. <laughs> is that medical or recreational catheter? You have to catheter. be bedridden. It's for bedridden <laughs> Recreational patients. catheters is just sounding. It's just bad oh, sounding. I know, I know it. Sounding, I do it's know not, what it I'm, is. Congratulations, Ed. I'm proud of you. Hey, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I didn't thank you. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm tired? Yeah, I'm yeah. tired and hung over, and I can tell you're fucked. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. It's not every day you find out what a catheter is. It took me, like, years to find out what constipated meant. How Bro, same. same. I, same. What, what do you mean it took? What do you mean it took you Both years? Of you were you on a were you on a fucking spiritual journey trying to understand Avery, constipation? Because and motherfucker, I learned English when I was very young, right? But there was a couple words that had the same equivalent in Portuguese. So constipated is a word in English, and constipado, which is spelled the same way, like almost the same way, except for the last couple letters. It means you have a cold. Constipa? So I went around my <laughs> fucking would school sneeze and you would go, ah, constipated. Sorry, I'm constipated. <laughs> <laughs> and no one told me for years what I was telling them. Because I they completely just, forgot that you told me you you told me about this on the road trip to Colorado, and people just fucking, thought, "Oh, it's that weird kid that can't shit," and he goes around <laughs> telling people that he can't shit every time he sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> and Fuck I me. and I did that for years until I was like thirteen, and someone told me, "Are you sure? Do you know what the? Do you know Are what you you're saying?" Sure? And I went, "Yeah, I have a cold. I'm constipated." And they went, "Oh no!" And then I found out. I love that knew have a cold was how you say it in English and you were still walking around saying sorry I'm constipated <laughs> you knew have a cold yeah <laughs> constipated is one word constipated is more syllables than have a you go cold. to the doctor and tell them you can't shit no you tell them you're constipated same principle no you tell them do you, you talk have a cold to, do you talk to random people the same way you talk to your doctor do you not I'm trying to be polite here. Yeah, do the bottle intro again. Okay, one second. Rev it up. Wait, bro. no, that before. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what? I I can't find the right angle. I keep trying like different distances. And not dude, it. am I am I am I am I still dreaming? Am I going to wake up, dude? Fuck me. I got a good one. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Welcome to the podcast. All right, David. I heard you had a story where you and Ed got kicked out of a bar at Pax. Yeah, we did get uh, fucking kicked out of a bar, right, Ed? <laughs> Please tell it. I don't remember it. I was drunk as shit. Is this going to be another beaver story where the, the point of the story is that you got kicked no, out and no, you gave no, the game no, no, away no. immediately? No, 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 no. <laughs> so we were at PAX. Mm, let me try to recollect everything so I don't miss out on any details. Basically, uh, we were at PAX. We went to the uh, the main hotel bar. <laughs> <laughs> you told him to tell the story and then immediately cut him off. <laughs> Well, um, I cut him off so he so I could tell him the context until I forget. Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> Ed, put the bottles down. Damn it! They Ed, I'm gonna have to. I'm, you gotta put them down. <laughs> Ed, turn off your fucking so, catheter. <laughs> put running your out of catheter gas. down. Ed, you're really constipating me here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta replace the oil. <laughs> oh God! Grease up the I got, catheter. I got my catheter's oil squeaking. Checked. If you do it recreationally, you call it a cath, bro. Take my it's catheter to the garage. They're going to rip me off. <laughs> Can we ever listen to Oh No again and then go, wow, it's so quaint that we thought this was going to be yeah, we thought the most this fucked was, episode? Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I don't think I've ever went back to listen to an episode. I do all the time. I've gone back and listened to Oh No. Um, I listen to the ones Mandy's, oh no Mandy's on. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I can go back to Oh No because I'm... I'm You're the, the no. I'm the no. <laughs> See, I like to I like to just turn it on and then I'll, I'll turn off the lights and I'll be like, man, I love my friends. Oh, that's <laughs> sitting in the dark. You. <laughs> what are you putting your catheter? <laughs> yeah. I'll be cathing. You'll be cathing. <laughs> You'll be cathing all night listening I'll to your I'll be cathing with the boys. <laughs> Sorry, guys, Karen, honey. Like, I got to leave. I got to cath. What are you guys doing after this? <laughs> 
Okay. So Ed, Ed, and Ed and David, David you guys got kicked bar, out of the bar. Drink the alcohol. Wait, hold up. You're serious? No calf? <laughs> no calf. No, no calf. calf. No shit. Let's go. Okay. So tell me we, the story. So we went. We were at PAX and we went to this uh, the the main hotel bar, which was like it was like in the in the lobby. There was like the actual bar part, and then you could sit down like a bit farther from that. And we just sat down there and waited for like somebody to just tell us like, "Oh, we have a party going on" or something. Because yeah, you know, it fucking. We were pretty much it's waiting just, for anything yeah. that wasn't just sitting at a bar. Because I didn't feel like doing it, but that was like plan Z. I mean, we we went. I mean, we did go like super early to the fucking bar, though. We were yeah, like, we went at like seven. We went, at, we went. We started drinking at seven. Although most nights we started drinking at like six, seven. So, dude, I got you know. so many business cards from losers. That was fun. <laughs> I know, right, dude? Fuck me. I still uh, have like I'm a I still streamer. have a few. Uh, hey, man, I'm a streamer. I do I do League of Legends commentary. Yeah, it was uh, yeah. Just a fucking pocket full of business cards by the end of that night because people yeah. people just hand those out like catheters. Yeah. Just fucking left and right. <laughs> just like, it's like my business doing, bro. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> business uh, yeah, cat. So, so we we decide to just sit down at the uh, the restaurant portion, like this. I, I guess the the sit down. Is it called a sit down? David, you could just say we sat at a table and we didn't <laughs> oh, sit I'm, at the bar. I'm what are you fucking, saying? <laughs> This is why you do, this if a is bar why, has a table and chairs, I literally it called, don't like, know what David board? just said because my brain went, "This is nonsense." I'm dumping all of this. <laughs> we sat we at just, a table. We just sat at a table, and David's like, "There's a table and a chair. Is this a restaurant?" <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead, then. I have no fucking idea okay, what I'm so saying. We, Jesus. So we sat at a table that was oh next God. to the bar counter, and then we got ID'd. We got our IDs out, and they said, "All good." I didn't, we didn't even get any funny laughs because back when I um, back when I lived with Avery, every time I showed my ID, the person would just go, "Oh, this will be cool. <laughs> this will be fun." <laughs> no, yeah, that's uh, at the liquor store. We'd always go to, like Ed would pull out his ID, and then one of the tellers would be like, "Ooh, fun!" <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what Portugal is. Oh, I gotta get my ID renewed. Uh oh, it expired like last year. I forgot about that, but. Anyway, you can buy booze with an expired ID. No, no, God, no. <laughs> okay, well, how have you been buying your booze? Oh, I <laughs> shit. <laughs> I guess they so, didn't notice. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, wow, I can't believe they didn't notice. You guys are getting fired. Um, but yeah, so we got ID'd. Uh, we each got um, I got like a stout David got a whatever and we were just waiting there for hours we were wait waiting there for ages for like any of the people to hit us back up to see if there was anything going on um, and then let me remember we were just waiting for somebody to say that there was a party and meanwhile I prefer usually like sitting at as uh, like at the bar proper just because that's where the weird shit happens like a bunch yeah, of people go get like drinks at the and table I wasn't getting any business cards so yeah, and <laughs> I, we wanted to go to the counter because that's when the people come up to you and they talk about the dumbest shit especially since you're at PAX like they just want to do fucking networking in the most awkward it's awful. dumbass and, way. and then you have to put on the white guy face and pretend you care you're interested in knowing yeah. his fucking smite rank. <laughs> Wait, that was me. <sighs> yeah. I think I was telling a guy about rank duel and how it sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, eventually, eventually we, we, uh, we look at, I, I look at the counter and I see that there's a spot. So I'm like, Hey Ed, let's go sit at yeah. the counter. And that's and, when and then David leaves me hanging and he's like, he, oh, Ed, I gotta go pee pee. Yeah, and I then, had to piss real bad. I was getting really hammered. And then he goes piss, and then the weirdest shit happened, which was a lady came up to me, and she was like, hey, I know you guys have already been ID'd, but since you're moving to the bar, I need to ID you again. And I was like, okay, weird. I've never so had I, this happen to me, especially yeah, since me we, neither. You, the, the weirdest part is that you still had, we were still drinking, 
Yeah. Like, we still had drinks in our hands when we switched. Well, you had my drink because I went to piss. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, weird. So I take out my ID, which I didn't know. Apparently was expired. Oops. Actually, I think maybe I gave her my Belgian one. Because I think my, because my Belgian one is still fine. And I don't think I'm that much of an idiot. Probably. Um, so I give her my ID. And then she goes, oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, this won't do. <laughs> no, you, th this doesn't work. You're, you're not American. And uh, we're allowed to say no. And then she pretty much said that we're barred. And we're not going to be served at all for the rest of the night. And then... I also forget kind of what happened. I eventually, I, I eventually. Oh yeah, go David back. comes back yeah. from the piss, and and then I, I see Ed is just like, he's he's looking sweaty, <laughs> he's looking sweaty as <laughs> shit, and he just tells me they took my ID. Oh yeah, they barred. wouldn't give it back just, to me. Yeah, they wouldn't they give took him it back for his so ID. Long. <laughs> and he just told me, David, they took my ID and we're barred and I, <laughs> we're kicked out and we're barred and then they just took my id because i think I, I i faintly remember being like this is telling her no we just got served and my id is fine like we literally have drinks right now and, and plus like on top of that two days ago we were at this same bar and we were served at the bar counter and no one bitched at us right and then she was like one second let me get my supervisor to sort this out and then she, they left probably for like, yeah, they left for a while, a while we were, we were just left hanging there, just wondering what the fuck was happening for a long time. Um, and then they come back to me, that lady and now her supervisor. And they ask me like they, holding my ID, like, like carrot on a stick going, who, who served you? Do you, can you point out the waitress who served you? And I was like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> we're not, yeah, we're not going to put the fucking, <laughs> we're going to put our waitress under the fucking bus, dude. Yeah. And then she goes, give me a moment. And then she goes around asking different waitresses, did you serve this man? Yeah. They just keep pointing at us. Like, did you serve these people? Did you serve these people? And then did finally, you serve these terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, she finds the lady that did serve us. They talk for a little bit. And then she comes back to me and she goes, I'm sorry, sir. Our policy says if you have a foreign ID, we are allowed to deny you service. And then she hands me my ID back. And I go, OK, whatever. And then she goes, but don't worry, sir. We chewed out the waitress who served you. She has been reprimanded. <laughs> what? <laughs> and we're what? we're just like what we what do you mean don't worry we, we didn't want to we we did not want that <laughs> oh don't worry we're punishing the homie yeah <laughs> we're punishing the only cool person uh, also can I just say that I know the we're waitress, denying you service and we're basically stealing your ID for fifty minutes but <laughs> the helpful person she got yelled at also the fucking the waitress. That was uh, that that wanted to see our IDs again. The really she was a fucking bitch. Sounds like, oh, like she was a she Karen. Was rude as fuck. Big Karen. She was, yeah. And she she just she just looks back at us, gives him back his ID, and says, "Well, come back with your passport sometime." And she gives <laughs> us the fucking. What? She gives us this smile, like this smug fucking smile, and I just wanted to fucking. I hate women. God, I hate <laughs> women, dude. Why did she was such a bitch? And at that point, we didn't have anything else to do. This was the only bar that like wasn't super shit, and we just like a it bunch of thought. idiots. This is the best part. We get we, in an Uber, <laughs> pissed we, as fuck, literally and figuratively. We're so mad. We're just seething. And, and like even the Uber driver catches our conversation and he's like, yo, that's that's fucking stupid. <laughs> like he chimes in and calls the bartender an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just we just go back to our fucking Airbnb, dude. We go back to our Airbnb. We get our passports. We get the Uber back to the bar. Wait, 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 wait. While we're getting oh, our fucking passports. I yeah. Okay. Sorry. I we get to it, our Airbnb. So this is an Airbnb that is, um, it's apartments, but the, the, 
the, the rooms are it's all apartments split in, in a house unlocked. and there's a shared room which is the main hall the living room and the bathroom those spaces are all shared and you kind of got like for the bathroom you kind of like take turns and me and david are just we got back to the Airbnb at like 10 p.m. or 9. No, it was 9.40. Uh, it was I nine. specifically it was remember like, it was 9.40 p.m. Yeah, because we kept yelling like we kept yelling. We weren't, like, we we weren't even yelling, right? No, we not were, even. I think we were we just were like, talking, we were talking, but laughing loudly. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just laughing and we're just still yelling about <laughs> how stupid this what just happened bitch. is. And then David goes, I got to go pee again. Are you OK? Because you peed a lot. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I just He'll forgot pass my cat. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I just piss a fuck ton when I drink, bro. So David goes pee again, and then he closes the door, and then I'm I'm looking at my phone, and then I hear the door open again, and I'm thinking, damn, that was a quick cath. So I look up, and it's just a guy in the next room just opens the door. He looks like he just he, he looks like the foam adventure people, by the way. <laughs> He just opened the door and he just fucking scowls at me. And I'm like, and I just like do like a default shrug pose. Like, what's up? <laughs> default wide shrug. Wide and then he goes shrug. back in his room and then I check my watch and I'm like, it's 940. Are you trying to sleep at 940? Dude, he was a gamer. He was one of the PAX people, man. Yeah, he was one of those. Oh, God. He was probably trying to binge clan ad. Pre-packs. He was probably trying to watch. <laughs> he was just trying to watch Promare, bro. <laughs> he was just trying to have an <laughs> night. <laughs> All right, well, that's getting cut. That's getting cut. <laughs> um, but yeah, so after that, I tell David, and then he starts laughing. He starts calling that guy a virgin, and I'm like, hey, if you could hear us laughing, you could definitely hear you calling him a virgin. <laughs> Um, so because we're petty bitches, this is the funniest part, at least to me. We get an Uber back pissed. to that bar with our passports. We have our passports in our pockets. We get an Uber back to the bar. We see the lady and she's like, y'all got your passports now? Fucking bitch. So I give her my passport. <laughs> David gives it to her too. She goes, okay, yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like, oh, good job. <laughs> like, fuck you, bitch. We're not your fucking dogs. Don't talk we to us like that. We get a cocktail and then we and instantly then she, get the she just, check. She, yeah, oh, sorry, she gives me the check. She j- gives me the checkbook. And then I, t- I take my card. I look at her straight in the face. I take my card and I give it back to her and I fuck off. I was so pissed. We wrote zero dollars in tips. <laughs> fuck I just gave her back you. the fucking receipt. I was so pissed, dude. She looked mad as fuck when I gave it back to her. And that's how, that's that. <laughs> then we got called to Quite's party and we got even more hammered and. Yeah. <laughs> Was that threesome night? That might have been threesome night. That was tre- threesome night, yeah. All right, cool. We didn't have a threesome. We just... It was I know like, you didn't have a threesome. It was like a third degree threesome. You don't know that. I do know a third, that. A third person threesome. I know that because if Ed had a threesome, he would be quoting Seinfeld right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was our... Oh, my God, dude. I got to sneeze again. Somebody take it. You constipated, bro? You <laughs> constipated? <laughs> What do you say to somebody when they're constipated? Like, you can't really say bless you. I mean, you could. It's yeah, like a, knowing. I love that knowing no matter what stories get told on this episode, it's going to be called past the calf. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, uh, like, I don't know, old people, uh, old people have like mobile catheters. I found that out at work one day when I went into the mobile bathroom ca- to what do is like a, a mobile check. catheter, like a so, mobile suit right. Gundam. Is that cock? like a shisha bar, but you put the two so at, work, at work, <laughs> at work, at work, uh, we have to do like bathroom checks sometimes because I work at a retail store. So I went to the bathroom. There's nobody in there. And then I, you know, I checked the garbage liner and I checked the bag. So you have to check it to make sure that if there's any like shoplifted product, the usually they would throw the packaging away so that they wouldn't beep at the doors. Hmm. And a lot of people like to go into the bathroom to do this, even though all stores have a bathroom check. And if you're looking shady as hell going into a bathroom, you always get an employee in there. Uh, So I was in the bathroom and I was checking the liner and I like see a piece of paper on the floor next to like behind the garbage can. I think it's product and I pull it up 
and it's a bag that's like a mobile, ca- like portable catheter tube, <laughs> like medical lining. I'm like, oh fuck, someone cathed in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Call that a cath room? Fuck! I was waiting oh, for silence shit. so I could say that, you fucker! Damn it! Why would you wait for silence just say on it. this fucking podcast? Because I was just gonna go like more like a cath room. Like I was gonna get real close. God, I hate old people at work. Speaking of <laughs> catheters, <laughs> I have a story. I have a story from like a month ago that I wanted to tell. All this uh, talk of catheters just has Brendan seething in rage. I fucking <laughs> oh, I hate boomers and their catheters and their fucking <laughs> Tom Cruise roto scooters. <laughs> Fuck you and your hover round, Grandpa! I got legs. Uh, he got fucking activated. Jesus. Yeah. G- All right. So. I'm at work and I, you know, I work at a retail store. I don't give a shit. I work at Best Buy. I don't care like anymore. Like I do not care. Uh, <laughs> and I don't, I don't because I don't know what's happening with my job. So I don't God, give I a my shit. Limit. I don't give a shit. It activated me. I no longer give a fuck. I, that could be taken in so many ways. The way my brain took it at first was, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to work at Best Buy now. Fuck it. I'm done. I, don't give a, I, don't, I, don't, I do not give a shit. I have a cold, as Ed would say. Get it? I get it. I get okay, it. Good. <laughs> so I'm at work and I, I I sell TVs at work. So I'm on my lunch break and there are a bunch of people at uh, our our fucking mobile desk and there's a bunch of people in the store working and it's slow as shit. And I'm on my lunch break and I'm one of the like the TV sales guys. So I come off my lunch break and a, a manager comes over. He's like, Brendan, there's a there's a customer who's been waiting for like 20 minutes for help. And I'm like, why didn't anybody else help them? What, what do you mean waiting 20 minutes? I'm on my lunch break. Are you like, are you stupid? <laughs> so I go over to the, the home theater and there's a, there's an old man screaming at one of them, like uh mobile associates uh, who is like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. TVs. I don't know. And I'm like, what? Okay. So I go over and I settle the old dude down and he's like this 80 year old man and literally just wants a universal remote. That's it. <laughs> waiting 20 minutes for like the TV guy because he wanted to look at a universal remote and a sound bar. So I go over and I'm talking to him about the sound bars and he just starts like talking to me like, man, those ladies over there, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an older oh. gentleman, but man, I, if I was 10 years younger, you know, I couldn't stop myself from hugging and squeezing and kissing. Ooh. I'm like, Oh shit. He's, there is a subset of old people who won't stop being fucking horny. Dude, right? I I know that because I used to work at fuck it. When I used to work at McDonald's all those years ago, I remember getting people like you would just help them. And then they would just point out a, a woman and be like, <sighs> she's going to make me act up. Yeah, this I'm guy, gonna, I'm gonna do it this time. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna do fuck. something. I'm gonna regret. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> uh, first, I'm gonna calf, then I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, and I'm I'm talking to him about sound bars, and I, we at this point, I just want to get him as far away from me as physically possible. Like I just don't want to deal with him at all. Like I'm done. So like immediately when someone starts acting like that, I immediately shut down and go into zero percent energy mode where I just try to conserve as much of my energy as possible and just help them out in the most robotic way. It's basically full retail shutdown. So I, I retail I, I, shutdown, retail shutdown. Yeah. So I'm talking to him about sound bars and I just get him a, like a basic one. And he's like, this, this will make me hear better because, you know, my ears don't work so well. Unless I'm trying to hear a pretty lady. I'm like, what? Hear them what? Hear them shit? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what I'm trying Are to you hear listening to them shit? Lady. I don't know. I am confused. All right. Oh I'm genuinely God. upset. So. I, I help this guy out and he's got his fucking like double, double fucking walker that he's like moving over to the fucking checkout counter and I'm checking him out and he's like, you know, that lady over there, if she wasn't Mexican. And I was like, ah, fuck. Oh, oh, no. Dude, he's going down. He's, he's going all the down boxes. the fucking tube. He's hitting every <laughs> he's fucking up the base. He's, he's got a fucking up, cap. Bro. He's revving up. He's hit a whole fucking home run. Oh my God, Jesus! And Christ. and like and like immediately <laughs> afterwards, you know, so I, I've got him checked out, and he's like, you know, those ladies over there, he's just laughing about catheters. Those, 
I'm those imagining, ladies over there. I'm imagining a silly straw, but it's Kath. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what if when you came, you shot Silly String instead of come? Anyway. <laughs> all right. What if when you came, it was one big one and you had to fight it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you coming stay puffed? <laughs> <laughs> this guy... This, this, this guy immediately after like going on a racist diatribe was like, you know... When my wife died 10 years ago, and I'm like, oh, God, he knows he oh. said too much. Now he's trying to get the, the funny pity points. And I'm just like, yeah, man, absolutely. If you ever need assistance, just come on in and I'll take care of it. And in my head afterwards, I said, just so nobody else will have to deal with your bullshit. Because that's essentially my job at work is to deal with people nobody else wants to. Just because. So this guy leaves and I'm like exhausted. And thankfully I leave and I'm just thinking about it the whole day. I've been thinking about it for like the last month. There's just this, this horny old man <laughs> being infuriating. Rent free. I hate retail. I really do. I feel like Brendan, the oh, more I hear old people are fucking horrible. The more I hear from your retail stories, the more I realize where your inspiration for all your D and D and PCs comes from. It's just because I deal with just the shittiest people yeah. like the, the, the most white trash, like weirdos all get sent to me. Like there's someone who comes in once a goddamn week and doesn't stop talking about how they're a streamer and how they're giving up their life to be a streamer and how like oh, they're, no. they're asking for tips. They never I I buy anything. At the bar. <laughs> they never <laughs> buy anything. Oh, we definitely they saw that guy at the buy bar. buy anything. The, all the uh, I'm gonna be a street. I'm just gonna be big, and I'm gonna be a, a big stream, and everybody's gonna watch my. You know, I watch my channel, and I've been working with a couple of big people, and you know, it's it, it's like also back at GameStop, a guy wouldn't stop talking to me about he how he had two terabytes of RAM in his fucking computer built <laughs> for Minecraft, what? and I literally got so fed up. I was like, that's not. You can't have two terabytes of RAM. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm running a server. No, shut the fuck up. Please shut the <laughs> fuck up! Oh my god, that I was cannot. real. Sorry, what, I get one terabyte so on each fucking, fucking heated. <laughs> People do not work in fucking retail unless you absolutely fucking have to, because you will deal with the most brain dead people. And I'm a magnet for this shit. So already, like, the normal level is pretty bad. I just get the fucking weird truckers who want to talk to you for an hour about their fucking cat. The fucking incredibly <laughs> racist old people. I heard something people. else. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you did. I know exactly what you heard. Ed. <laughs> truckers wow. just want to talk about their fucking cats. Not cats. <laughs> they don't want to talk about their fucking cats. <laughs> yeah, I got a 16-hour drive. I got to fucking rev the cat up. cat up. <laughs> <laughs> did i tell the story this is this is kind of catheter related um so my <laughs> grandfather my grandfather uh my, imagine this all is, this, this like is, shortage of ventilators bro, but it's catheters instead and this is a cath related story oh you my enjoy god this. so my grandpa when he when he lost his leg had to come out of the hospital and and he had like a catheter installed in, in home for a while in the leg and yeah he got his leg amputated no, but where's the catheter? In his what dick. What the fuck did oh. that mean? <laughs> like, like my grandma had to go and empty it, and when they removed it, he couldn't he couldn't pee right, so they had to put a toilet. They had to put a toilet in the living room. Oh, you told me this. That story. sounds like he, the dream. there was a toilet in our living Wait, room at you my told grandparents' me this story. Yeah, I did. Yeah, there was a toilet in the living room at my grandparents. My grandparents were hoarders, so like, imagine fifteen to twenty fucking cats, right? A dog, shit everywhere, and then just a fucking toilet installed in the middle of our living room. I'm Brandon. playing Warcraft three, and I just hear brap. <laughs> Brendan. Papa's on the toilet. Hi, Papa. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Brendan, please oh. tell them the story. So, oh, the, the story. story of your so, your, your, oh, your, so about your my brother. Papa's house is hosting BrapCon. Uh, so my, 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 me and my little brother would go over to my grandparents. We basically lived there during the summer, and we'd be there every weekend. It was like disgusting place to be, but I love my grandparents. They're my favorite people in the world. And so my grandpa one day. 
is sitting there. My grandma's helping him out. And I'm on the computer. My little brother is watching me try to get Oblivion working. Like, I've spent, like, hours trying to get Oblivion working on the PC to the point where there's no graphics. Like, it looks like it looks like what? the first Tomb Raider game. Yeah, so there was a program I installed that, like, derezzed the oh, graphics gotcha. to a certain point where it would be playable on my grandma's shitty computer. So I'm working on like oblivion and everybody looks like butter and there's no textures. And I'm like playing it at five frames per second. And my grandma looks over my little brother and is like, Garrett, do you want to make 10 bucks? Garrett's like, sure. Absolutely. Do you want to white pop his ass for him? Cause my grandma didn't want to deal with it for once. So my brother goes over, grabs the wet wipes and starts. My grandfather, by the way, is 350 pounds at this point. <laughs> like I say, years He's old. fucking, he is, he is <laughs> huge. He's 350 pounds. He is about five foot seven, five foot Holy six. Shit. So he's like a ball. He, <laughs> like he had a rascal scooter and he like drove around. Papa, Papa was it. thick. Okay. I'm it. <laughs> so my brother comes over, gra it. grabs the wet wipes <laughs> and starts wiping my grandfather's ass down while my grandma, my Nana and my Papa are fucking giggling, laughing at him. <laughs> Like, like fucking mocking him for wiping my grandpa's ass. My grandpa's like, thanks, half pint. Oh and that's it. That's the story of my brother, how he, how he made $10. I never did that because I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> not going to wipe fuck, Papa's man? ass down. It's not going to happen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brendan is just struggle personified. I know, I, right? right? He's, you know, struggle tweets on Twitter, dude. You go upstairs and just... the, in the living room, there's a toilet. You go downstairs where my uncle lived, <laughs> literally, literally a field of Mountain Dew bottles filled with piss. Oh, what the He fuck? would not leave the basement someday. <laughs> so he just a field. One day, what the I am, fuck? I am, I am, I am, I am thirsty. What? No. No. I, oh, no, no, <laughs> Brendan, we're stopping. We're we're no, cutting Brendan, you off. You're I already know how this ends. <laughs> Everybody knows how this ends. And Brandon, I drink you got no water surprising. and I'm done. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I never drank piss. All right. Well, wow, no, that's a different. That's not a well you story. want. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different story. But I never drank piss out of a Mountain Dew bottle. Like that didn't happen. I just wanted to set that up for it the did. joke. It's not like you would notice. Yeah, it's about the same. <laughs> hey, I'm a connoisseur. It would at least be bubbly. That's I, I think if anybody's pissing carbonated, like if they're if <laughs> their cat is if carbonated, if anybody's pissing is carbonated, it's your uncles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do that. I get the foamy piss. Bro, you shouldn't sometimes. say that. He's a manager the of Burger foamy, King. Foamy piss and carbonated piss is not the same, bro. <laughs> is it not? They taste no. the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the carbonation would do it, would have a texture thing, not a flavor thing. Oh. Carbonation. I don't think. I don't a know little carbonation. Okay. And I'll see you next see time. See you next time. <laughs> oh, Hot God. Dr. Pepper. Oh, my God. I'm, so, I'm a cursed person. I, I Sometimes think, I, I like, like, that old person story, like, unlocked some trauma there. Brendan, from here on, you're yeah. not allowed to describe old people anymore because I was <laughs> no. I was at the fucking limit. <laughs> he was gonna he, you you revved him up a bit to, too far. We're gonna but have he, to institute rules for the PST. He, he, when he started <laughs> talking about the Brendan. rascal scooter. <laughs> I fucking hate them. I hate them so much. <laughs> My grandpa would be looking at fucking catalogs of rascal scooters and he'd just be like, well, time to use my fucking, like, <laughs> time to use my fucking stipend to buy fucking a rascal scooter. Well, no, I gotta again. have matching decals with the calf. He had fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This what one has a built in calf holder. <laughs> uh, why do they call it rascal holders? Uh, rascal scooters. scooters? Fucking rascal holders. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your little rascal here. Hold your fit. Your it's like a cock sock oh, rascal holder. Me, I'm imagining a bunch of really rich old people <laughs> crowded around a big like tube <laughs> and they're passing around the catheter tube like it, like it's oh, a chisha bar. Oh, That's what I'm imagining. Dude, and oh, this is why, this and is why like, old folks and homes one are of them filled with has like a goat mask and they're deciding the fate of the world. <laughs> What? 
what is this? They're, they're, they're having eyes fucking, wide shut. They're, they're just asking the. They're just all getting fucking high off piss fumes and asking the Oracle what happens next. No, they Dude, just have the a big orb full about? of carbonated piss and it tells them the <laughs> future. They have one of the soda streams that they have, like, the fucking taped orb? to the orb. <laughs> the Oracle. Uh, uh, Convening with the devil. <laughs> the bouncers oh on a rascal scooter. And it's just all happening in Brendan's living room. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking, thirsty. Right, fucking, fucking tombstone, <laughs> is, tombstone is playing. The orb the is TV. just like getting it. It's just like on the toilet lid. And everybody's <laughs> around the toilet. Just praying to the oracle. Brendan is the one lying on the table with the pentagram painted on it. And he's playing Warcraft 3. <laughs> Bro, I used to love Demise of Brotherhood role-playing on fucking Warcraft 3. <laughs> I'd be playing that and Gaia online and my grandparents were my grandpa shit. <laughs> uh, Time to write more for my zombie toilet. RP. Is that a DX racer? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a fucking, it was a shitty like office chair that was like peeling away. The cats had like, oh the cats oh, had like ripped it apart. I thought I thought you I thought you asked if the toilet in the living room was a DX racer. That's, <laughs> that's what I asked. Oh, I think yeah, it was a my grandpa was a gamer. <laughs> Your uncle sounds like the real gamer. My yeah. uncle, my uncle, literally. Did I tell? So my uncle and my grandma, same same uncle and grandma, were the ones to raid my Ruinscape account and steal my dragon whip and all what? Of my gold. What? what? Did I not tell this story? No. My grandma, my grandma, and my uncle. I got super into They're RuneScape because my uncle Brandon was super into it, and so he was my dad's brother, and he would talk to me about it. So I, I got into it, and then my uncle got really into it, and then my grandma got really into it because she used to play a lot of Facebook games. And I stopped playing for a period of time, and I get back on my Hulk Hogan three eleven get count, and I get back <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> I get back on to Hulk Hogan 311 and all of my shit is gone. My gold, my dragon whip. And I'm like, Nana, my, my obby whip, my obby whip is gone. Nana, what happened to my obby whip? Oh, I took it. I needed it. Nana, why'd you take my obby whip, Nana? Nana, <laughs> I needed it. <laughs> to be fair, it was cool. They paid for my membership, but like they got way they too into it. Wait, RuneScape needs a membership? Stole. You can, you can you can get you a premium membership. One. Oh, a right. A jagged a Jagex Plus account, right? Mm -hmm. It's like my uncle currently, like every year, for some reason, he makes me pay for it on PayPal, and then he'll send me the money. So he pays for a year of it, and he'll he'll call me and be like, "Hey, I need to re up my RuneScape account," and he'll send me a hundred dollars on PayPal, and I have to buy it with my card, and then take the money on PayPal and put it in my account because he doesn't want to use banks. I don't, I don't, he, he doesn't want to use banks and he, he has a pay card from like his work that he transfers to PayPal, but it won't let him buy it through his PayPal account. It's a weird, weird, uh, not money laundering thing. Every time you talk about your family, I realize your you were actually, amazing. you were actually just born into the fucking boom, boom family from part seven of Jojo. <laughs> family shut up <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry I fucking i had to quickly make a google keep notes thing for a video idea <laughs> moves like jagex song parody <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay so are we have patreon questions i don't yeah, know let's take some patreon questions i okay. need a fucking break i've cursed this podcast <laughs> yeah, today the, the, we we went we revved up tonight it's boys. been a while and i had a lot of pent-up aggression so I had a lot yeah of pent -up it's, piss. It's, i felt the a lot of pent-up piss i was constipated <laughs> no, the piss doesn't with piss. pent up because he's cast <laughs> <laughs> if you're not cast right now what are you, you doing if you're not cast you go to a fucking dog pound yo is, is this dog cast <laughs> 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 so patreon questions if you're part of the five dollars and above tier you can ask a question um we might answer on a podcast and we'll probably just complain about your question being shit yeah give us hypotheticals if you're gonna do the patreon question those are fun 
those are really Ooh, fun. We we is, prefer is, hypotheticals, honestly. Also, are there, like generally, we we only we only really read the questions that make for interesting content on the podcast, not just what's your favorite color. Don't ask me My weird favorite. shit. Oh, what no, do you ask put on Ed your weird hot shit dog? specifically. No, like as in like weird personal shit. Yeah, not weird personal shit. There's a lot of them like this. Ask me how much money I should put in my 401k because I don't know what I want. To <laughs> ask know. me how many subs I have. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I love. Ask me because I want to know, and <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'm really if I'm curious. Directly asked. <laughs> really curious how that works out in your head. No, I was gonna say also put the answer in there. Okay. Oh, okay. I like this one. I found a good one. Finally, I'll put a face on it. Your boy will asks. All of the objects in your room are now alive, and to bring them back to their regular state, you must fuck at least one of them. <laughs> oh fuck! Which object? Android eighteen titty figure. Which object do you fuck? Figure. Why and why not? Android eighteen titty figure. See, this is a good one. Yes, this one is uh, fantastic. Um, All of your oh, objects fuck. in the room are Let alive. Let me look around. Yeah, so me too. first we should first we How should clarify. We oh, yeah. What 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 is, what, what is counting as fucking in this? Oh, you got to stick your dick in it. What do you mean? Okay, do it. There are two options. Do Stick I have your to dick come? in it or insert it? I think. Do you have to come? I think you have is to it, come. It, is it like the Toy Story object alive? has to make you come? Oh, fuck. That makes it hard. Mine is so easy. Mine is Bro, not. My ris- Nintendo 64. My. Oh, wait. My dick mine is. I got my, my <laughs> risotto from part five figurine. I'll fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Easy money. What's the process of that? Like, how how are you getting in there? I don't care. He can fuck me. I don't also, care. Also I'll let him. He's, gonna, he's alive. He's alive. By yeah. the way, he's gonna be like, oh no, or something. Oh, and he's know? exactly like Risotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, he has he's, to be exactly does he have that. Metallica? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're in for you're in for a fucking rough night. Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to. My, shit my for two weeks. other choices were Fugo and Kira. Kira would just <laughs> run away, and so would Fugo. <laughs> I mean, they're small. Just hold them in play. Ooh, what? That sounds bad. What? Never mind. No. I mean, I don't would. want to make it weird. I assume when they come alive, they get life sized. No. No. You, no. 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 They're they're what the size they are. Checks you clown. It's like Toy Story rules. Eh? Like oh, Toy Story. Yeah. Oh God, that's weird. Yeah. Well, no, no shit. It's Welcome weird. to the fucking question, dumbass. Okay. Well, obviously he'd have to be on top. Yeah. He's he's how he's, cra- you, he's crawling in. Well, <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> it's it's gonna be he's stuck time. in the bag. <laughs> it's gonna be, dude. It has to be so hard to like oh, fucking object. Hang on, I gotta write another other... thing down. Horror movie if, idea. If, Someone oh, is stuck object. in a catheter bag, and then the, uh, po- the poster is just somebody's face pressed up against the bag. Oh, oh, God, shut up. <laughs> it has to be so hard, though, to, like, have sex with only one object when every other object is, <laughs> no, just like, fucking there. alive. Yeah. Oh, because every other object is you. with all of them. Wouldn't, yeah, they're, they're all just... Oh, yeah, no, they're all watching. Like I hope none of you... They're I hope all none watching of you. and yelling and going like, <laughs> What? Pee-wee's Playhouse. It's Pee Wee's Playhouse, dude. My what fucking is, little big planet. Uh, uh, David, I have a question. What the fuck is in your room where that is the, the default sound that you assume they're all going to be making? I have. Just, I you have, turn around all of a sudden. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have. I have. a. I have a, a few anime figurines. So I just expect that they're all going to be like. <laughs> they're going to be like. Eh. What are they figurines of? I have one of uh, Ryuk. I guess Ryuk doesn't do that. Ryuk does not do that. I have one of Chun Li, but she's gonna be stuck in her plastic because she's still in. (laughs) She's still in the. Uh, You got oh man, gotta go fast. That's a ticking. That's a ticking (laughs) clock because she's gonna suffocate if you don't fuck fast. Yeah, she's just like she's just like ah because she's dying. I have I have Sora, but he has two keyblades, so I'm fucked. Ryuk would totally just watch. He's not a kid. I have the I have the one from Kingdom Hearts three. He's eighteen, I think. Much better. I thought you said he's eighteen. I was like, oh, if you have a few. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me. Ch- I, I didn't say I was gonna fuck him. No, I know, but I was saying, yeah, no, good reason not to fuck him. He's a child, and you went well. Technically, oh, yeah. 
I was like looking around and being like, what would my dick fit in? Yeah, no, same. I'm like, having that exact same thing. Yeah, I okay, could probably so fit just, it in like the cartridge I, slot of the Nintendo so 64. I just we discovered gotta talk that I could Sora fit it in my ukulele. 15. It's got a hole in it. I'll I just do the discovered ukulele. that Sora is 15 in Kingdom Hearts 3, so he's out of the question. David's <laughs> just like setting himself up for these at this point. We didn't even call him a pedophile once for the entire episode. I, <laughs> fuck you, god damn it. If we don't call him a pedophile, he'll do it himself. Yeah, like, I I can't believe I'm still the one getting blamed for this. Oh, no, I didn't say you. I said said we. I said we all the time. I have an... Okay, I know what I would fuck. I, okay. Brendan, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna fuck the Kirby Automaton. I knew it. I it's knew way it. too easy. It has a mouth. It has a mouth, yeah. I was gonna say my Automaton, I mean, it's gonna, too. It's gonna go like... <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It might go like... Fucking your automaton. It's yeah, it's silicone and it has a mouth while Chun Li suffocates. MacGyver a fucking DIY flashlight out of your living automaton. That's the I think the worst sentence I've ever said in my life. Am I gonna fuck? Because like, am I doing my office or my bedroom? Well, the room I, I would you're say in right now. Where you are I'm currently. Office. So, uh, um, I have a figurine of the Arbiter, <laughs> I guess. Ah, what, 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 what? So, I mean, Yo, you know, Arbiter, I your Arbiter have, comes pre-stocked with also, plasma condoms. I could have also picked my bong, but does it? Would it still have the bong water in? Because I feel like yes. it would fit better than the automaton. Oh, dude, yes? that bong's a squirter. <laughs> oh, dude, I need to empty my bong. Why do I still have water? Did, uh, let's see. I saw one. Um, did wait, you, you guys answer. already do? Did you answer? Yeah, I answered. I said my Nintendo 64. Yeah, he was like the first one to answer. Yeah, oh. well, first I Brendan said my Android ready. 18 figure, and then I remembered, oh, fuck, oh, size. Man. Brendan's been giving that controller some weird looks. Uh, no, it's the whole console. <laughs> Brendan has always known what the Ow. weird third stick is for. Uh, because I'm pretty sure I could fit my dick somewhat into the cartridge slot. <laughs> Whoa. Like, that's literally so wait, okay, like I was that's looking at them, like, thing I think we need to figure. Are they still like the same? Wait, no. Like, Do they have emotions? Is there or, a possibility yes, that the console would cry? I think yeah, they're, they're, Toy Story rules. They're the same <laughs> texture, but their parts you, I mean, are more maneuverable. Technically, you don't have to fuck them if you want them to stay alive. Yeah, if you just want them to stay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's this got really dark all of a sudden. Now it's like, <laughs> oh, shit, you might. You're oh, going to kill do, all of no, them. Do no, they no. know? <gasps> they do just, they know um, that they're going to die? No, you just start edging. So they you force them to watch. What? What? They're they're in a constant state of euphoria. <laughs> Ed, what, what about have we done this one? Uh, are there any specific food items you've had an absolute trash time with? Refuse to eat now due to a bad experience. Food items. We did. We did do that. I think. I don't think so. You it should, sounds oh, like one that Ed would make fun of and then scroll past. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, was, I was, was just thinking, like, like, are we really gonna do this? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm not emotionally ten years old, so I, <laughs> I, I just go again at some point. I mean, yeah, yeah, eventually I go again as well. Just takes a bit of time. I guess tequila. What? We're doing this? Yeah. No, I think that's the, I think that's the end of the conversation. There's well, no, I no need to expand on that. I can't no. eat. Uh, I can't eat frozen pretzels. I know why. Yep. yep. I, I, I had eaten a frostbitten one and I had projectile, I projectile vomited for like two days. So now the smell of them makes me like gag. Uh, and my girlfriend loves pretzels. <laughs> she loves soft pretzels. <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, every time I smell them, I just, uh, makes me want to die. Yum, yum. It's like an autoimmune response. They're not good food anyway. Big pretzels suck. I agree. It's just, it's just big bread. Big salty bread. bread. It's just big salty bread. That's it. Bread, it's fucking lame. Honestly, bread kind of sucks. Bro, no. Fuck bread. Can we get a fucking, you guys are get a fucking, fucking dumb. Fuck what? bread. Who the fuck says hey, fuck bread? Yeah. Hey Ed, Who shut the fuck like up. Bread? We don't like bread. We don't like bread. bread. You go to a restaurant, they give you bread as an entree. You spit in their face. 
Yes. <laughs> Why would they? I don't eat it. I don't eat it because bread just tastes like nothing. It tastes. Like I push it away and I say, "Eli, I don't want What the fuck? Bread are you eating? Losing my mind. How the what? fuck? Oh, you're not a real French person. Never mind. I don't like baguette. I only like baguette what? if there's cheese oh, on it, boy. or else it's nothing. Bread is baguette bread is some of own. the best bread ever made. It tastes so you nice. You have to add. I don't have to add shit. You don't have to. Don't you have really to add, don't. You could just eat sliced you really baguette. Don't. Yeah, baguette on its own is fucking delicious. Yes. This is a you thing. I didn't even want to answer this question, and now I'm fucking pissed. (laughs) I can't believe, like, this is, like, double upsetting for Ed right now. (laughs) Yes, because we (laughs) ended up doing it, and I'm hearing this bullshit. Ooh, baguette tastes like nothing. Have you ever fucking had one? Yes. Do you think all bread tastes the same, David? Do you yes. Add, yeah. Okay. This is a fucking right, pointless I, conversation. Oh, We're talking to a Neanderthal. Wow. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing you've ever said that, on this no, podcast. No, I, I really thought like that was going to be your limit. That you're going to say no, but they all taste pretty much the same. No, you oh, actually fucking, think they taste okay. the same. Well, white bread tastes like white bread. I s- what do you mean? <laughs> what no, does that mean in this bread, context? White white bread is going to taste like white bread and brown bread is going to taste like brown bread. Oh my god. Uh-huh. So, so the answer to Ed's question then, David, was no. But it all tastes the same. What? You just, you just said they don't! <laughs> this is genuinely this is so the angriest stupid. I've ever been on this I, I, podcast. I don't understand where I'm we're going. I'm so fucking upset. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, uh, bread, bread tastes like nothing. Uh, I mean, white bread tastes like white bread. Brown bread tastes like I, brown I, like, bread. I get, but it all I tastes get some the same. people saying they don't like bread. I don't like cheese. I've been in that camp. Right, but your reasons for not liking it are so fucking stupid. You know, I mean, I don't hate bread. I just don't like it. <laughs> you because it tastes realize. like nothing. Realize. Because it tastes like nothing is your reasoning. It. I don't think it tastes like. It doesn't have enough taste for me to give a fuck. I mean, I'm not the motherfucker who's going to the movies with a bag of bread and just fucking <laughs> chowing down, right? <laughs> bread, bread tastes like it doesn't taste enough like something for me to care. It like doesn't cheese. taste enough like something for me to care. <laughs> <laughs> David, you've never rolled up like a like a like a slice of bread into a ball. You've lost Brendan as an ally at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even I've eaten bread. Like, I've been like, oh, this is fine. Of, course I've eaten, of course I've eaten bread. Sometimes I eat a sandwich, but the worst part is the bread. The worst part of the, the worst sandwich, part of the the sandwich is the bread? bread. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, yeah, because the inside is what's... Oh, <laughs> you're that guy. You're that guy that makes a fucking sandwich, doesn't finish it, doesn't eat it, just leaves it for the day in the fridge, wakes up in the morning and goes, I'll just eat the ham. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. What I the promise fuck you, you that David is exactly the kind of guy who just gets up no. in the dead of night, walks over to his fridge, gets the sliced ham and goes... <laughs> at the fridge David, door. Are you, uh, fridge David, door are you open, the type? He's standing there, gobbling it down like the goblin he fucking is. David, are you the type to put the a straw? And bread and goes, fuck you. And then David, are you the, the type to put a straw in an Uncrustable and just drink it? I don't know what an Uncrustable is. I don't know either. That is the worst thing I've ever pictured, Brendan. <laughs> oh, no, I'm you. <laughs> oh, I know what an Uncrustable is. It's I the, have no isn't clue. that the thing that you made me eat on the road trip to... Uh, yeah, it's like a peanut butter and jelly sealed sandwich Yeah, what did that you, you say? unfreeze. What, what did you say was in it? Peanut butter and jelly. It's always no, peanut butter and jelly. No, what did you say? Jelly. I do? No, do you, 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 you put a you straw, put a straw in, it. in it and just slurp it out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> David takes a fucking handful of peanut butter and then a handful of jelly and just shoves them in his fucking mouth and goes, so much butter. <laughs> well, actually the, actually, the first time I had a peanut butter jelly sandwich was, <laughs> was the Incrustable that I ate on that road trip. So well, I'm glad I could, like, pop your PB&J cherry. Sandwich. God. <laughs> so sorry for making you eat a sandwich. Um, Any more was, Patreon I questions? I don't hate. <laughs> I just. It's not my preference to eat bread. First I don't press know. Press F to pay respects tastes- is the meme of the decade. Now bread tastes like nothing. It all tastes the same. And it's the worst part of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it is the worst part of the sandwich. No, it isn't. Why don't oh you go God. fucking eat a loaf, dude? I. 
I'm losing my fucking mind. Any more Patreon questions? Or I don't are care. We... What do you? No, no. Hang on, David. You have a sunny side up egg. What do you eat it with? Bacon. Uh huh. Sunny side up egg with guacamole. Yeah, dude. It's what what do you do with what do you do with the yolk? I don't Hello? think David knows about toast. Hello. I, I, <laughs> do you just I do, cut it out and just I, eat it? I <laughs> I do this thing. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> I'm ready. Go on. What do you do? I, What's oh superior to eating it with toast, uh, David? I, I, <laughs> First, he takes out a Sora figurine. I do this, I do this thing where I, I eat. <laughs> this is going to make you sound fucking autistic. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You've got that covered. <laughs> I, when I eat a sunny side up egg, uh-huh. I eat, I eat the, 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 the surrounding white, all the surrounding white before like and i'm careful not to pop the yolk and then i just put the yolk in my mouth and pop it in there you just you don't get to talk about food okay the episode's (laughs) over you don't get to talk about to punch something the episode is over you are not allowed to ever talk about food on this podcast again (laughs) i'm not the only one to do that why would you no no yeah everyone else who does that is seven david now i'm just why now i'm more pissed at the fact that you don't even pop the yolk (laughs) yeah best part of the the fucking sunny side up thank you 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 mean the white bit david actually (laughs) tastes like nothing I put it in my mouth, you fucking dipshit. I that's pop it in my no, mouth like it's that's fucking... Not, it's like, that's David, not you don't know how to eat bro. sunny side up eggs. How does someone not know how to eat a sunny side you up egg? You can eat anything however you, you want. You pop the yolk and then the yolk mixes with the whites. What? You can do that oh if you God. want. Because that's where the fucking flavor is. You, you can do that if you want. I can't believe a person said... The b- bread tastes like nothing. And then he's like, oh, actually, when I eat a sunny side up egg, I just I eat only the, white eat the whites. I You're put insane. Maple syrup. You're an I, insane I, person. I put maple syrup on my fucking eggs. Hey, uh, David, how do you what? feel about eggs? They're good. What? Why? Really? Because you have to put something on them for them to taste any good at all. According to you. Because you just eat the fucking whites. What are you, yeah, but you can put salt on it. You can put spices. You can't put spices on bread. Wow. That's fucking weird. Somebody, you salt somebody bread. Bread. <laughs> spices baked into it, you dumbass. <laughs> Stop the presses! He puts salt on his food. We have a cook. I'm gonna lose my <laughs> real chef mind. here. <laughs> you put salt on your loaf of bread, David. Oh my god! I'm gonna there is salt in David, most do you, bread. Do you know about have salt you ever bread? baked in your <laughs> life? <laughs> oh my god! Do you not know that salt is something you put in pretty much every fucking type of bread? <laughs> My food doesn't taste like nothing. Sometimes I put salt on it. Sometimes I put salt on my egg whites. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. We need to stop. You're going to kill me. (laughs) Oh, fuck. You guys are fucking food Nazis. We're not food Nazis. You're just an idiot. I can eat however I want. I eat my yolk like Listen, it's fucking all I'm caviar. Sa- okay, maybe I am a food Nazi. Because if Hitler got on stage and was like, all right, listen, people who eat the yolk in one bite, I'd be like, all right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Unfucking believable I'm so upset. The past two podcast episodes are the only what? episodes of the podcast where I've actively gotten angry at someone while recording. What? And both times it was David for being a moron. I, I'm in a fucking terrible mood now. <laughs> Me too. It's just <laughs> eggs. I, I went from like peak laugh when Brendan was talking about old people. And I'm just, I, I, I have several holes on my desk. Well, I guess you can change your answer for the fucking inanimate objects one then. Hey, thanks for listening. This podcast wouldn't be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Agraba451, Alan Diver, Alex Steer, Buckshot Papaya, Q underscore, Dax Ritchie, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, Descala, Eric Scott Gillies, Jeff Smith, Manuel Martinez, Marco Sotelo, Rad Jackal, Ryson, looking fresh though, Ryan Rankin, Seawolf812, Sky, Spooky Ghost, Teague, The No Ninja, Travis Vapes, 
Tyler Collins, Unarmed Toaster, and William Oliver. Thanks so much for making this show possible, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.